Dugard today on the south coast. I'm with Sia. Uh, we're going to be talking about one of the latest five axis machines they've added to their range. Um, Sia, you're going to be the man that tells us all about this model and some of the impressive features about it because it is a five axis that looks pretty stunning. Yeah, GTX 650 is the latest addition to our five axis range. As you can see, it's a very capable machine. It has 650 millimeter swing on the table. And as you can see, the table is supported on both sides, which make it very rigid. And also it can take up to 300 kilogram weight on the Tronian. Now we see the table moving here. We see it doing its tipping action. And, and see it mentions 300 kilos. So you can get 300 kilos on that table and tip it to its yes, to absolutely. degree position yes. and, and still machine. So would you be able to do that if you didn't have the front support, do you think? Do you think that no, makes the difference? No, yes, yes, the front support actually make a lot of difference both to table road and also rigidity of the old piece before you machine it. When you, when you look at it, that means that you've got quite a bit of work in envelope, in quite a condensed area of a footprint. Would you yes. agree? Yes, that's right. The design of the machine is in a way that it gives you the maximum working area as well as the access movement and the speed. And what about access, right? Operators, everyone yeah. watching this, if you're a five axis machinist, you want to know the spec, we want to know what it's like to get yeah, in and touch right. it and feel yeah. it. Yeah, that's right. Obviously, when we discuss about 300 kilogram volt piece, you normally need a crane or therefore you need an access from the top as well, which, which you can see. And also the ability to have the machine accessible from both sides is make it perfect for automation in the future. Yeah. So if you want to add a robot loader or a pallet system to the side of the machine, yeah. you can also access it from the front. So you could, if you wanted to, use a forklift through the, that's the other side, couldn't yes. you? So yes, if you needed you to fork yeah, something on, you don't have to worry yeah. about that being, that being in the absolutely. way. Absolutely. Your, your tool changer, at which we can hear there, you mentioned to me that this has 60 tools as standard as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Great, great for any sort of general machine shop. Yes, obviously with loads of five axis parts, because you're gonna need loads of tools to be able to finish the work piece in one hit and with the reduced setup times, you need to have about 60 tools. You need to have access to as much as, as many tools as you can. Okay, uh, always good to hear back from feedback from the viewers as well. We'll be, I'd be interested to know if there's anything more you want to know about this machine, please comment on the, on the channel that you're watching it on. And um, see, we talk about the ergonomics, the accessibility, the tool changer, uh, the weight you can get on the part, yes. and the, the rigidity of the machine. What about the speed? What, how fast is it? What can people expect from a spindle that you have here yeah. from, from the movements. Is it a quick machine? Yeah. This model comes with direct drive, 12,000 RPM a spindle, which makes it perfect for machining off hard to cut materials. Also, the control and the drive system are the latest Siemens Cinemaid one generation, which is not the fastest look ahead and drop closest thing on the control. And is it full five axis? It's not yes. just three plus two, full five axis full machine. Five axis, yes. um, you, you, your swarf conveyor, I noticed at the side there as well, is quite small, adding to the compactness of the machine. Is, 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 a swarf, is right at the front here where the evacuation of the swarf happens? Yes, that's fine. We have a very small channel there that all the swarf goes in there. And also through the help of the swarf conveyor, you can empty the swarf. And I'm looking at the Y axis that's coming out here, Sia. Um, as it gets to the end point of the table, you mentioned 650, so it's got quite a long way to travel. Yes. Uh, are you still going to get the same strength at the at the end of the? It's working at the end of the y-axis, which we see here. Yes. Even with that ram type design. Yes. Um, because the y-axis is fully supported all the way, and also this machine comes with linear the scales on all of the axes, you would have exactly the same accuracy across the fuller stroke of the y-axis when the ram comes out. Okay, so, interested in a five-axis machining centre? This one is available here from stock at Dugard. It's their new GTX 650.